guys, what's up? It's Sierra. For this week's video, we're going to do a like a homeschool Q&A because I have gotten a couple comments that uh, you guys wanted to see my like homeschool routine and stuff like that, but it is always the middle of the day when I am filming this kind of stuff, so I never have time or uh, I'm too busy, but I will get around to that eventually, I promise. But I'm going to do a homeschool Q&A, kind of go over the curriculum, uh, lies about homeschooling, truths about homeschooling, and all sorts of stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get on with it. So number one is what does my day kind of look like on the normal? So for my like own day, um, I usually wake up earlier in the morning. I like to be up by 7.30 and um, being a homeschooler um, and I don't go to a co-op. And if you don't know what a co-op is, it's like public school but for homeschoolers and your parents teach you um, and everybody's like everybody's parents that kind of teach different stuff depending on if they signed up to teach something that year and you all gather sometimes it's only one day a week sometimes it's two depending on which co-op you go to and um, you like different people's parents teach teach different subjects so it is a lot like I think public school in that sense um, but for me I like to wake up early around 7:30, and then I just grab my laptop because a lot of my school is on my laptop and um, just bring over the, the CDs or DVDs that I have and the only subject that I don't have on my laptop is math and um, so then I have to get a book for that and go through the book um, but yeah usually I do my school in the morning and um, then I have the, like, the rest of the day to do whatever I want which is usually a lot of other stuff. Sierra, is it true that homeschoolers do their school in their pajamas? Yes! Uh, for me it's a reality and it's a very nice reality um, but yes I think a lot of homeschoolers do well maybe not a lot homeschoolers that I know if they could that they would um, so yeah but for me it is a reality and I do my school in my pajamas quite often has firefighting affected my homeschool life no it has not not at all um, so in my fire department, uh, I'm the first homeschooler to be a junior firefighter. So if you don't know that I'm already a junior firefighter, then you can go ahead and click uh, the link in the down bar and I'll take you to one of the videos I did on being a junior firefighter and stuff like that. So go ahead and click that down below. Um, but yes, it does not affect it at all. Um, so I can't go on calls um, before noon. Um, that way it gives me time in the morning to get my schoolwork done and I have to be in my school before I go on calls and so I've, I've listened to that I don't break that you know because that's that's that like that's the rule you know you have to do that um, in order to go on calls and I really like going on calls so I listen to that right now um, and I can't go on calls right now because I am on medical leave and stuff like that so um, yeah basically I like to listen to the calls um, but no it hasn't affected has not affected me at all in my homeschool life. The biggest misconception of being homeschooled is that we are not socialized. And I think every homeschooler hates being asked that question. Oh, are you socialized? Like how do you how do you make friends? Um like everybody else. <laughs> I mean, homeschoolers, we can go at our own pace. So if we get done early, um, or like you go grocery shopping with your parents. Uh, yeah, you get asked that all the time, whether you're out and about or just depending on where you're at. But yes, we are socialized and, um, you know, with public schoolers, it's hard to think that we're not socialized when we don't spend seven to eight hours a day in a specific classroom with our own age group. Uh, homeschoolers tend to be, obviously this isn't true for everybody, as it is not true for all public schoolers, that all public schoolers only like their age group that's not true for all of them too but homeschoolers um, tend to be more um, will not willing but they work better with other age groups and like can talk to old people or can talk to newborns like it, it I don't think it really matters on what age group it is I homeschoolers can do pretty well and again public schoolers do great at that too I have a lot of ho public school friends who do great with old people and young people so I think it's just kind of one of those stigmatisms that's still around you know do I do online school or is it um, like traditional homeschooling well um, so online school it, it's weird because um, 
I have friends who do online school too and they're like, well, I'm homeschooled. To me, this is just a personal opinion, uh, if you do online school, then you are not homeschooled at all. Uh, just because you're like, your parent is your teacher. Like, that's homeschooling. Um, and my mom is my teacher. Uh, yes, I do a lot of the stuff online, um, but I don't have a teacher online. It's not like, it's not like I'm communicating with another person for my school. In the online school, or yeah, like, yeah, online school, um, you are connecting with another teacher and you have other students in that class that you're in and it is not like that in traditional homeschooling at all. So I think that that's online school and then over here is like homeschooling. Do all homeschool families have big families? No, um, that is not true at all. You could be a single child or an only child and be homeschooled or you could have 20 kids or whatever the biggest family you can think of and they can be homeschooled too it doesn't really matter the the size it's just kind of what your parents determined to do like in my family I have two older brothers so I'm the baby of the family um, and we have all been homeschooled and we're not a big family like small families can do it too another big thing is that a lot of people think that all the homeschoolers live on farms or are like organic -y, weird smelly stinky people like I I don't know. I, you know, I don't think homeschoolers are like that. I personally don't live on a farm. I would like to live on a farm, but I, I don't. Uh, I live in a suburban area, and I don't eat organically. I probably should, but I don't. I eat Nutella. Bananas are pretty organic, right? Like, I think that's probably the closest I get to being organic is the bananas that I eat with my Nutella. Homeschoolers are really conservative. I, you know, that's, I'm, no, not all the time. I do have homeschool friends who wear bikinis, if that's, I mean, I, I don't mind that, you know. Um, I think it's, honestly, it just comes back to your parenting type. And some homeschoolers choose to wear skirts and wear their hair really, really long. And, you know, I think that that's pretty. I love long hair. So if you have long hair, I will probably like really like it because I like long hair. Uh, is my hair long? <laughs> nope. It is getting there though. Um, and I am growing it out. But I don't wear skirts 90% of the time. Um, for church and stuff I will wear skirts or um, just depending on what day it is then yes I can probably wear a skirt. I did have a period back two, three years ago where I um, wore a head covering and I wore skirts and stuff. And if you're like that, I am putting no shame on you whatsoever. But um, I did do that for a couple of months at least. And I really enjoyed that. And then I decided that I wanted to go back to wearing pants and having my hair down instead of wearing it in a head covering. And I really like that too. I think it just kind of depends on, depends on your family. Homeschoolers aren't allowed to date. They court. Yeah, you know. I think 99% of homeschoolers probably court, or their parents say that they court. But maybe courting, I think courting is the same as dating, you know, except courting, like you're getting to know the parents, or it's a step up from dating, which I think a step up from dating should be engaged, but just my own opinion. Um, but yeah, I used to say courting all the time, and then I was like, isn't courting the same as dating? Like. But yes, we are allowed to date, um, or at least in my family I am. Um, I have to be 16, and obviously I am 16, but I am still single, even though I am wearing a ring on this hand, which is my left hand. Um, I am still single, yes. I um, don't have a boyfriend or anything like that. You know, I think it honestly just comes down to the maturity of the guy, or the girl, depending on who you are, and you know, if your parents like them or, or not, there's that too. Um, but yeah I'm allowed to date my brother has a girlfriend my my oldest brother has a girlfriend my second oldest brother had a girlfriend and then we moved and that didn't work out um, but yeah we have we have dated before and it's not like it's a voodoo thing you know like you're not allowed to do that a lot of people think that homeschooler like homeschooling parents are really just like restricting on like movies and stuff like that um yes I will say that that is probably true or at least in my case it is um, my parents won't let me watch Harry Potter although I have tried I have done a lot to try and get them to let me watch, watch Harry Potter um, you know I'm not allowed to watch the Hunger Games or um, you know things that 
wouldn't be glorifying the God basically is what they're saying and you know being the child I do have to respect that and so but you know when you turn 18 and you're out of the house you just you're kind of on your own and you're an adult so I will probably be watching all that stuff whenever I am out. A lot of homeschoolers have really strict parents. Is that true? Um, it depends. It just depends on your family. Uh, I think a lot of public schoolers could probably have strict parents too. Uh, I think it's just your parenting type. My parents aren't that strict. Uh, they do expect me though to do my best in what I do um, for school or sports or anything that I put my mind to. They really would like me to do well at or um, you know just yeah just do well you know do my best. Um, so I think that goes for public school and homeschool people though. And like for rules, um, my parents aren't really that strict. They expect me to be smart. Other than that, I, I think it's the same for public schoolers and homeschoolers. Alright you guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe right here. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any questions about homeschooling or anything like that. And I will be sure to answer those. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!